In this video, we're going to attempt to find the equation of a line through two points in slope-intercept form. In this problem, the points we are given are negative 3, 4, and negative 1, negative 2. Ideally, the problem wants the answer in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. The problem with this formula right now is we need m, the slope, and b, the y-intercept. While we can find the slope, we have no way to find the y-intercept at this point. This might not be the best equation to use as we get started. Instead, we will use the alternate formula, the point-slope formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Because this formula allows us to use any point we choose and a slope. Right now, we have two points. We have an extra point, which matters not. The important thing is we have points, but we're still missing the slope. Fortunately, if we have two points, we have an equation we can use to calculate the slope. m, our slope, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we label our points 1 and 2, Knowing that they come as x-y pairs, we can quickly find the slope by taking y2, which is negative 2, minus y1, which is 4, over x2, which is negative 1, minus x1, which is negative 3, and simplifying to get negative 6, and adding the opposite in the denominator to get 2, which will reduce to our slope of negative 3. We now have our slope. We also have points, and we can pick either point. Both will give us the correct answer. Uh, let's just pick the first for no other reason than it comes first. And we can now use that slope, that point slope formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in our given information, we get y minus y1, which is 4, equals m, which is negative 3, times x minus x1, which is negative 3. Minus negative 3 is the same as adding 3. And we finally have an equation of the line that goes through the points negative 3, 4, and negative 1, 2. However, the directions ask us to put this equation in slope-intercept form. To be in slope-intercept form, we need to clear the parentheses and isolate the y. We can do this by distributing through the parentheses, giving us y minus 4 equals negative 3x minus 9, and isolating the y by adding 4 to both sides. We now have y equals negative 3x minus 5, and we're now in slope-intercept form. y equals negative 3x minus 5 is the equation in slope-intercept form that goes through the points negative 3, 4, and negative 1, negative 2. We found this equation by first identifying the slope using the slope formula, and using that slope with a point in the point-slope formula, and then solving that formula for y to be in the correct form.